on weathering. So what is weathering? Weathering is a subtractive process of construction. Weathering is how we know the age of something. It marks the passage of time. It's how nature leaves its mark on the built world. If all architecture were designed to be the most weather resistant, it still wouldn't work in every climate. So why not embrace it? We should design for resilience only from disaster, not from a little rust and discoloration. There is no such thing as a maintenance-free building. Things are meant to be used, stained, stepped on, sat on, and rained on? Everything falls apart at some point. Some sooner than others. We can't escape the elements and we can't fix everything that's broken already, but we can appreciate the strength of this earth, stronger than any construction process will ever be. Weathering gives life to materials, a unique visible history representative of the site in which it lives. Until the material is replaced, nature constructs its own artful finishes depicting the life and times of the artifact. So, I've gathered a few materials to put to the test of time. Step one, sterilize the mycelium substrate, in this case, wood chips. Step two, sterilize your hands and work environment. Step three, inspect the grain spawn. Step four, Break up the mycelium into small pieces to be evenly distributed through the substrate. This is to increase the mycelial network so we have more organic matter to work with. Step 5. Mist the container and close. The rest of the mycelium is going to be grown in this little bag. Step 6. Make a few cuts on the outside of the bag to encourage airflow so that the mushrooms can grow. Step 7. Mist the container and close. Now, let's get to weathering. Day one of material testing. It's finally raining. This cold rolled unfinished steel is not corrosion resistant, but it does have strength from being only one piece cut and stretched. It's inexpensive, strong, and works well for sun shading, railings, and gates. But how does it hold up against water? 
unfinished red cedar is durable and low maintenance. When exposed to UV rays and rain, it weathers beautifully into a silvery gray. The outer layer of the cedar wood cells is what produces the oils that give it the beautiful red tones and smell. Next up is the cork block. Cork has been used as underlayment in floors for many years, but recently has been gaining traction as an exterior surfacing material because of its great acoustic and thermal performance. Cork facades are breathable, resilient, and the natural wax-like texture protects it from rot and decomposition. Mycelium is 100% compostable and biodegradable. When dried and compacted into a brick, it becomes incredibly durable and is resistant to mold, water, and fire. While using mycelium as a building material is a great upcycling of agricultural waste, it requires a lot of care and maintenance. <laughs> 